Asimwe. Now the detail. President Yuri Kaguta Museveni has signed into law a total of 19 bills. This has been confirmed by the Presidential Press Unit, PPU, in a brief statement today morning saying that the bills are centered to yesterday at the state launch in Nakasa recover virus sectors and issues. Among the bills that have been signed into law by the President include the Uganda Wildlife Authority Amendment Act 2004, the Uganda Registration Services Bureau Amendment Act 2004, the Registration of Persons Amendment Act 2004, the Agricultural Chemicals Control Amendment Act 2004, and the Children Amendment Act 2004. Others are the National Youth Council Amendment Act 2004, the Persons with Disabilities Amendment Act 2004, and the National Women's Act Amendment Act 2004 and the National Council for Council for Older Persons Amendment Act 2004, the National Planning Authority Amendment Act 2004, the Physical Planning Act 2004, and the Value Added Tax Amendment Act 2004, among others. However, two bills the national commissions for unesco amendment act 2004 and the higher education students financing amendment act 2004 have been returned to parliament unsigned away from that a prominent hiv activist in, Ho in bunyoro region robina tibakanya has condemned the increased abuse and cyber bullying acts targeting individuals living with hiv stroke aids in the area tibakanya who has been living with the hiv stroke aids for over 12 years has dedicated her life to advocating for the rights and well-being of people affected by the disease she has expressed deep concern over the growing incidence of discrimination and online harassment faced by the hiv positive community in Ibunyoro. her comments come amidst reports of abuse and cyber bullying as well as harassment against Joy Katresige, a person living with HIV stroke AIDS. Katresige, who has filed a case of cyber harassment at Hoima City Central Police Station against Juan Masi, a resident of Hoima City, who, she says, has several, severally used various media posts to harass her with disheartening, discriminating and stigmatizing posts. Through her lawyer, Immaculate Bazara Owomjisha for Center for Women Justice Uganda, Katri Sigi hopes to find justice. The case started from a, a Facebook post that was made by one of the bloggers, a guy called Killian Lloyd, makes out blogs on, uh, on people, uh, let it be media, let it be media personnel, uh, let it be ministers, let it be the honorables and also queens and also so many other people in the, in the Bunyoro region. This started when Killian posted a girl uh, who is in the names of Tasha. She's, she was once a musician. I think even by now she might be still a musician and posted one of her photos whereby she was putting on a lesu and uh, that covered only her breasts and also in her waist and uh, then my comment was I stand in solidarity to fight against body shaming with Itasha and also I call upon the world to stop body shaming and uh, you might even find when Tasha is more beautiful than your girlfriend since then that is where a lady called Maseke Elden uh, who is uh, I think a girlfriend to Kilian Tibakanya says, as a HIV activist, she will not be silent and watch people st stigmatize and discriminate people living with HIV, noting that cyberbullying only serves to further marginalize this vulnerable population and must be addressed urgently. Abantu baingi tibaya kategorize 
kukozesa e, biyo mabia ite biya kalimagezi gamba ngo na mnumno ama simu. Rozele bintu bingi nibibaho. Hundi nibajumira bepule mbezivaitu. Hundi nibajumira abakazi. Hundi nibajumira. Niba, niba bajumira omringo kutahikire. Kwa gamba nibatiovora obugabe wabantu. Kiti ono tukietekelize ho. Ito nkabantu wabaina kwa 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 mnelero. Ha ebintu ebikura bibu waho. Ha mikutu. Kituwezele social media platforms. Niba juma abantu wabaina kwa 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 mnelero. Ebigambo ebikuwa hukana. Tari joi wenka baitu. Hamrundi gunu kitu kwa siroho muno tukurorangu. Kugireyo kurorangu. Tukuenda tu manise abantu. Kona hansi hanuba ina ukugabe kwa abu. Kandi tukora gana nebitongole ebikuwa hukana. Na muno muno ebituko onyera kurorangu. Bia yemera hamu na itwe. Harule ngorua district yona. Nurule ngorua national level na international level. Kurangu. Kitu kuija kuikiririza kimu. Abantu okuikara ni bagara hansi. Abantu abayi na kakuka kumwerelu. Habo kuma obutulaba tulibo kumara haka kakuka kumwerelu. Iwe na nyowe bulibu. Junanisi kwa wange. Kurorangu. Rundi junanisi kwa wangu. Kurorangu. Ebi nitu mkevyo. Tivigaru kile kubawa. Kandi nubuharaba hali yo. Abanta abando mbiya roko. Abanyi girizi iwe. Mutu hikire. Ituwe turoho. Kurorangu. Tuwaba konyela. Kandi. Tuwale meseza kimu. Ekiriko ruankekyo. Kugaru kwa kubawa. Nuko tusogole iwe na nyowe. Kuruanisa. Kumara haka wakako mnyerero. Ino kuhindure mtima ya abantu. Kukutongera kusiga. Abanta haka wakako mnyerero. Away from that. The Church of Uganda has registered trademarks for 42 bishops vestments with the Uganda Registration Services Bureau warning the public against wearing the registered vestments. The church says in a post on X, formerly Twitter, that the vestments are now protected under the intellectual property laws of Uganda and can only be done by bishops of the Church of Uganda, adding that only an unauthorized use of the vestments warning that any unauthorized use of the vestments in is an infringement of the church's trademark rights according to the communication from the church individuals or entities found wearing or utilizing the vestments will be prosecuted by the church of uganda for infringement of the trademark the church of uganda says it is committed to protecting its trademarks and will pursue all necessary measures to enforce the rights. Now, the Uganda Prison Services has asked the police to arrest former warder James Triatunga for blackmailing the institution. This comes after Triatunga claimed through various social media platforms that he was unfairly dismissed from the service. Triatinga has also alleged that the Director General of Prisons, James Mwanjei, frustrated him after failing to raise a bribe to clear him to pursue his studies. However, prisons spokesperson Frank Baine clarifies that Triatinga's claims are false and unfounded. Instead, he says that Triatinga was fired from the service after he refused to report to his new workstation and was absent for 20 days in violation of the Prisons Act. Baini notes that, in accordance, to the two, in accordance with Section 47 of the 2006 Prisons Act, the Prisons Council dismissed him as a deserter on May, of 3rd, on May 3rd, 2022. According to Baini, despite Triatunga's being advised by several authorities, including KCCA Labor Office, Uganda Human Rights Commission, Parliament of Uganda, and the Inspector General of Government, IGG, to use the right procedures while seeking reinstatement, he resorted to blackmailing the service through social media and other media platforms. Baine says that Triatunga's actions are clear, infl clear reflections of indiscipline and criminal character that could, be, could not be tolerated by the service, further saying that the matter has been reported to the police for further for, to the police to have the former warder arrested. You are still listening to KDR News Broadcast. This is the news on the international scene. Now, for the news on the international scene, Rwanda. President Paul Kagame, 66, who has ruled Rwanda since 2000, 
is leading the country's presidential election with 99% of the vote. The pre preliminary election results released yesterday night shows that Kagame is leading with 99.15%, equivalent to 7,099,810 votes of 79% of ballot counted. According to Rwanda's electoral body, opposition candidate Frank Habineza and Philip Mpaimana had 0.53 percent, that is 38,301, and 0.32 percent, equivalent to 22,735 votes, respectively. The result mirrored the outcome in 2017 when Kagame took nearly 99 percent of the vote. Final results are expected by 27th of this month, that is next weekend, although they could be announced sooner. Kagame sought re-election following the 2015 constitution amendment that permits him to run for three additional terms. This charge follows, this charge, this change allows him to seek a seven-year third term in 2017. But the amended, co amended constitution also introduced a reduction in presidential term limits to five years starting this year. The early tonight is 12 minutes past 1 p.m. As they wind up the newscast, a quick look on the top stories once more. Museveni signs 19 bills in two lowers, two bills returns to parliament. Increased cases of cyber bullying targeting individuals living with HIV erects, HIV activists in Bunyoro. Church of Uganda warns public against unauthorized use of bishop vestments and Paul Kagame said to win Rwanda's presidential elections with over 90%. That's it. My name is Deo Asimwe. I wish you the best of your lunch. It is a Tuesday afternoon. I wish you the best of it all. And please don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. That is Facebook at KDRFM 100.3 Official, Karguza Development Radio on YouTube, on TikTok at KDRFM Radio, and on X at Karguza Development Radio. <coughs>